Hey y'all, Chef Kirsten Hawker here, and what are we doing today? We're making peach cobbler, and yes, this is a rolling pin. Anything is a rolling pin, okay? Always remember that. What we're gonna start out with is the dough. Dough is typically flour, sugar, salt, and butter. You're gonna make sure your butter's super cold, cut it into your flour mixture, and you're gonna add cold water till it's the right consistency for you. I'm not gonna give you the recipe, because honestly, you don't wanna do this. You just wanna buy one from me. Hello. All right, so we're gonna get this dough rolled out. You can either make your own, as I just stated, or I do have a very convenient product available at HEB. It is a dough puck. You thaw it out, you roll it out, and you use it as you see fit. Perfect, set that right there. Take a look at it if you want to. So I got my dough rolled out. Of course, you got your bench flour. Hit it with a little bit. Hit it with a little bit. I like the thinness of this dough. If you want your thicker, you can always roll it thicker. A lot of people like more dough than peaches. I'm a more peach than dough person, but you know, live your life. You do you boo boo, okay? Nice trick I have. So we're gonna take the rolling pin. We're gonna roll the dough onto it. Slide our vessel underneath. Pop that bad boy down. And then stuff it in, gently. Make sure you don't have your, uh, your sharp nails on. Not today. And in the meantime, the oven is at 375 degrees, waiting for this beautiful bit of deliciousness. And you know we've got the finishing touches. First, you've gotta have your filling. This filling is fresh frozen peaches. I like to use those instead of canned, because canned peaches already come soft, and then as you cook them down with the sugar, because you have to cook the sugar. As you cook them down, they get really mushy. I don't like that. I like to have a little bit of texture left. Mm-mm-mm. So like, they end up looking a little bit like this. Yum. So we've got the dough in. I'm gonna add my filling. Just a little bit. Or for me, just a little extra. Just like me. That looks great. And now I've got my tools here. I've got cutters, I got a pizza cutter. Or you can use a little cute little cutter with shapes on it. You can use it for pasta, different types of pastries. This one, since it's so much dough, I'm just gonna use my pizza cutter real quick. And what I love about peach cobblers is that they don't have to look perfect. They can be rusted. If I catch a fancy looking peach cobbler, I'm gonna know you didn't make it. I'm a no. You bought it. It's okay. But I'm a no. First thing notes. Cut it. You need to cut it. Bam. Alright, so that's our base. Set that right there. And I've got these cute little cookie cutters. Cookie cutters are for everything. We're gonna do a little holiday shapes. I got a little candy cane. I got a Christmas tree. Excuse me, Doug. You know I'm busy, Doug. <laughs> and a gingerbread man. <laughs> of course, you can also do the traditional lattice shape. So the boop, bop, boop, bop, 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 bop. Okay? But during the holidays, I love these little guys. All right, so I'm gonna set them out. Yeah. do some more again these are in lieu of the lattice the peach cobblers I typically make the rest of the year Thanksgiving on a weekend on a Tuesday because I want one those have the lattice on a Tuesday I'm really feeling the, the music's today so I'm gonna show you a little candy cane look how cute that is Christmas tree and one more of my gingerbread men. Bam. So we've got these little shapes here. Got my cobbler. Got this extra dough. Set it off to the side. 
put these guys away. Okay, and now we're gonna finish topping it. So again, look at that, super thick and delicious peaches. Mm. Peaches, sugar, love, secrets. <laughs> and no dough is complete without an egg wash. It's egg and water whisked together. And I'm gonna hit those extra dough pieces, see? There we go. And Gonna egg wash these little pieces of dough. Beautiful. And again, this is just egg and water. Always have a pastry brush. There are some tools in the kitchen I cannot live without. One is a microplane, one is a wine bottle made to be used as a rolling pin, and another is a pastry brush. You may not think of these as tools that you need, but definitely make sure you've got one. Couple more here. And again, the oven is at 375 degrees. My peaches are already cooked. Dough is rolled out. And another trick that a lot of times they don't tell you is you wanna make sure your filling is cooled down before you add it to your pan. Otherwise, that hot filling will just melt all over the place. It'll be a hot mess. Nobody wants that. Just put your shapes on any old way. Oops. You know what? If they don't all fit, they don't all fit. But these will. If they know what's good for them, they'll fit. Beautiful. You know what? One more touch. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. There we go. So in all directions, you've got some cuteness. And you see how thick that filling is? It's barely moving around in the pan like crazy. I like it sweet, so I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. This is a super fine granulated sugar. And I'm going to sprinkle right on top, especially on the dough. Just give it a nice little sheen. Get a little brush on the insides. Also, all the dough needs love. All the dough needs love, y'all. And of course, it's gonna go into the oven uncovered for about 35 to 45 minutes depending on, of course, this is a little bit darker, so this is gonna take less time than a traditional pan will take because of the heat retention. But long story short, it's about half an hour to 45 minutes to cook a peach cobbler. So, once more, nice and sugary and delicious and peachy and beautiful. Hello, we're talking. <laughs> and let me show you the finished little item. Finished product. So this one, I went with a combination of both the lattice and the shapes. I mean, is this not gorgeous? Or is this not gorgeous? Oh yeah. So y'all, oh, one more finishing touch, because I'm extra. Fresh cinnamon, microplane, fresh grated cinnamon. And the smell is unbelievable. Thank you so much for checking out on my peach cobbler episode. You make sure to like, subscribe, come on through to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Chef Kirsten Hawker here saying thank you once again. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Get you a peach cobbler. Call me, beep me if you want to reach me. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs>